today we have Rhett and Sam Tompkins. Thank you all for the suggestions. Special thanks to Teresa, our Patreon supporter. My name is Alan. I'm a sound engineer and a musician. Let's go ahead and check this out. This lighter don't work. No. No flame to spark my goal. Now this is really cool because I've heard Sam Tompkins already and I have not heard this tone of voice yet. And that's really cool to hear because that means he has multiple different voices and I wonder if we're gonna get a lot of different voices in this song in particular. Now, something with the vocals right out the gate, we have a lot of layers going on, making this a nice lush full sound already. It's really cool because you got this low voice down the center and then there's this high voice. So he might have actually double tracked the vocals on here. This lighter don't work. Yep, it's definitely double tracked. You can hear it right in the back. You have these higher vocals and you have the low one up front. Nice clarity, just mild compression on it, mild EQing on his voice. No. I like that whisper effect in his voice. No flame to spark my goal. Yeah, so you got that high voice back there. That is really cool. My Nike's laced in dirt. Oh. Such a good tone. Yeah, I'm treading on my own soul. Oh. My headphones only working on the left side. But I try to live the right life. My eyes oh. wide. I really like this. This is cool. We already got three different tones of voice. Loving it. And I strive to stop my demons gripping, ripping from the inside. This road is dark and I can't find the batteries for my flashlight. I'm blind eyed and I'm Really cool vocal sounds right there. So, Sam's showing off in this video. You can already tell. We might get some more changes in it. It's the way that it's building up in the song. You can feel it. We're getting all these extra layers coming in right now. Right? And then you can hear how the boom. So they're lowering the volume on that and sucking you right into this big smack that comes in right afterwards. It's just a pitch. It's just a pitch shifter down. So on a piano, they did it electronically, but live there's like a little wheel on the piano that you can shift down also, which would be right here. This is what I'm talking about. Now it depends on the equipment. You can do this on anything. There's sound pads and other devices you can use. But I have this right here to show you. Man, that's a lot heavier than I thought. It was. Oh. Woo! Glad there's a bed over there. I love it because they were using it as part of the beat also. This road is dark and I can't find the batteries for my flashlight. I'm blind eyed and I'm tired. Love the falsettos. Those vocals are really strong. You got a really high falsetto. You got the EQ on there, really boosting those highs. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. So you got Sam's real voice in there going to do. And then you have this electronic kind of thing. It could be his voice pitched really, really high or it could be uh, a sound effect on a keyboard. It could be multiple things. There's a lot of different ways to go about this. So what we would do in the mixing world is we take up the vocals like this, this sample that I have of the actual vocals, and we take all these notes and highlight them because we have some type of flex pitch or auto-tune system that's in the program that we're using. And what they would do is they create a whole separate track and take it and slide it down. So I went in the low route there, so it would sound like this. It sounds ridiculous, but you hear how you get extra artifacts in there, and that creates that robotic sound that you're hearing in the track. Of course, they smoothed it out, which you would do later on in production. You smooth out those notes even further. And that's just ridiculously high. I'm just having fun with it.
Oh, there you go. Hear that high pitch frequency that you just heard right now with the backing tracks or within the beat? I just did that on the program. So now you can hear how they kept in that little high pitch noise and you can hear how those artificial harmonics come in. And some people keep that in the song, some people take it out. And in this case, it works really well because it looks like we're about to get a transition right here where Ren starts singing. So it's very clever in the production aspects to do that little swell, those high pitched notes. Then all of a sudden, He's probably gonna start singing in just a moment. These drugs don't there it is. Work. And he came in with a low voice, which just adds to it more because you went from a higher tune to a very low, very to that low, low sound. The pain it takes control. A bloodstained shirt. Like I'm always being chased by the devil <laughs> I tried to talk but I can't seem to get these spoken words right And I did it to, to, to try to keep my stutter to light And this like life that. can be his right Cut you like a flick knife Twist and make you sick right And I think maybe I'd be better off alone So I redirect the calls from my phone so many lessons from depression But in essence I'm just wishing that these bad thoughts were gone True <laughs> That bass noise is so good right there I love that I love how it mixes the end. Gone. Now this is a synth bass going on Very thick very rich in sound it's filling up that mix it's like really taking up a majority of the sound spectrum here Boom. and then you got the, uh, you can hear the splash right there where they add the splash in there adds some dynamic because that's probably going to be a transition in the song so it adds to that build up that we have got going on, on. thing to mention about that high pitch squeaking that we're hearing when they pitched it up higher they're adding a subtle distortion to it so it's not so it'll break up when it hits those high notes so it's not ear piercing <laughs> ah that's why we have that little four splash count we got this transition into this new part here like an 808 bass going on right here oh shit sometimes i bleed sometimes i crawl sometimes i slip sometimes i fall sometimes my back's up against the wall so hard that the whole building could fall sometimes i break sometimes i break sometimes i'm true sometimes i'm fake sometimes i'm up for a moment when the forward to start opening is swallowing me for goodness oh. sake and i think i'm gonna break the ache in this plate i'm awake in a bowl full of pain to a man no i was not expecting a fast rap <laughs> at all Hey, for the press and the brakes, for the brakes, they break And I'm driving my universe into a lake of the way Wait at the world, don't wait, we make mistakes when it's all at stake We cook our cake, we eat our cake Sometimes no time for double taste But that's just the way life goes sometimes But I don't wanna end up in the gutter Be a rapper, my trouble face down in the puddle When the sun don't shine I'm coming to give the back, I'm on the track And attack and stack and I'm beast Like I did with this one, I'm packing and I'm praying Oh Lord, take this pain away Away, away this song is really cool with the sound design. We had some space noises going on in there. We're gonna check out Ren's vocals first though. Let's check out his vocals because those were really good. Sometimes I bleed, sometimes I crawl, sometimes I slip, sometimes I fall, sometimes my back's up against the wall. You got that, oh, back so up right there. So hard that the whole building could fall. Sometimes I freak, sometimes I break, sometimes I'm true, sometimes I'm fake, sometimes I'm up for a moment when the forward to start opening is swallowing me for goodness sake. And I think I'm gonna break, cause the ache in this plate, I'm awake in a bowl full of pain, super man, no cape, and I press and the brakes, but the brakes they break, and I'm driving my universe into a lake of the way, bite at the ball, don't wait, we make mistakes when it's- You can hear how the vocals, ah, uh, oh. Right, that's a really cool call and response with the backing vocals. Adds to it a lot. Toilet steak, we cook our cake, we eat our cake. Sometimes no time for double taste, but that's just the way life goes sometimes. And then you get the double layers with delay and reverb on it. It just adds to it. And if you notice when they're doing, oh, oh, like it's a beat. It, 
it's a beat going on with his voice, which matches up with the drums that you got going okay. on in the back. Sometimes no time for double oh. taste, but that's just the way life goes sometimes. But I don't oh. want to end up in the dark, being black, by my trouble face down, and the part where the sun don't shine. Oh. Somebody's giving the back, I'm on the track, and attacking the stack, and I'm being stuck in it, but this one I'm packing, oh. and I'm and you hear that space noise underneath it? That's really cool. Honestly, I could hear it stripped down like this, and I would still be happy with it. I would still be pretty fucking impressed. No time for double taste, but that's just the way life goes sometimes. But I don't want to end up in the dark, being black, but my trouble face. We got to hear that sound design in there, because that sound design is really awesome. We got, like, some space-like noises going on there. Keyboards. We got some electric keys there. You can hear it swelling up right there. You hear like this little space noise. It's high frequency. And it just picks up. It's kind of blended with his voice. So what I mean by blended with his voice is they took his voice with the keyboards and they compressed it together. Compressor is like glue. So if you hear me say compressor, I'm it means like glue. It kind of glues things together and it keeps everything leveled. It keeps everything. So if you have a high note hit up, it'll the compressor will take that high note and bring it down to this level where it's supposed to be. You set up like a threshold. So if a high note hits, it, it'll bring it back down. If the note's too low, it'll bring it up a little bit. That's what a compressor does. When you have two tracks together, that's what I mean by glue because when you have them together, now the compressor is working on both those tracks and it's just like meshing them together so they're both at the same volume. So what they did is they had one of the keys probably going to the same track as his voice and that's why it's really hard for this program to separate it. Pain away, 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 away. That was a really good song, and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wanted to hear more of Sam uh, because he was hitting some really cool things with his voice also, and I'm sure he does this in his solo stuff, so drop suggestions down below. He sounded really good in the beginning of the song, and whatever else he did, he might have did some of those backing voices too. Who knows? There's so many ways to do backing vocals in a track like this. You could use samples of voices, you can use the artist's voice already, so whenever I'm breaking these songs down, I'm speaking just like in general terms because they could honestly be doing anything because there's so many ways to do one thing. That's why it gets overwhelming for some people when they start doing production because there is so many ways you can do it. That's why I just got to dive in and just do it. Okay, let's check out the music composition for this because there is a few chords that are going on in this. Let's do a little improv over it. Yep, so we got D minor. All right, let's have fun. These drops don't work. It takes control. The blood stain the shirt. I feel like I'm always being chased by the devil. I tried to talk. Life. And this 
check out my other Sam Tompkins video right here because this was the first time I ever heard him, and this was also with Ren.